Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Um, all right, so we've got uh, uh, Bill Valenti and Rob Greenlee, uh, well, now both from Melodia. Rob Greenlee has been a, a, a webcaster for years and a podcaster. Um, and you guys just, uh, well, I don't know what you, I don't want to steal your thunder. I shouldn't steal your thunder. Uh, you guys can s steal your own thunder. Thank you, Chris. Uh, I'm Bill Valenti, the founder of Melodio, and uh, Rob Greenlee, my colleague here, as Chris said, an experienced uh, web blogger and, and uh, webcaster. Um, and um, actually, before I start, I have a great idea for Faircast that just occurred to me while I was hearing that. It's a great, great uh, service by. I want to know when I get to the airport, what's the farthest I can go today with the money I have in my pocket? <laughs> I'd like to do that. Um, well, Melodio is a, a small 35-person Seattle company started about three years ago, coming up on three years ago. Uh, initially, they do music on mobile phones, emulating uh, iPod and iTunes, and we have launched in Europe, we've launched in Canada, uh, we've launched in, uh, in Asia, and uh, about five months ago, we picked up on mobile podcasting, and now you're, it's possible to download a free client and have access to all the podcasts on the planet uh, through about 70 to 80% of the phones uh, in the U.S. market. And the most recent addition is something that Rob is going to take you through very quickly, is the, the, uh, the uh, very, very huge phenomenon of social networking. So we, we kind of took uh, mobile and podcasting and social networking, put them into a blender, put it on puree for a couple of seconds, and that's what Melodio.com is all about. So I'll turn it over to Rob to give you a little tour of Melodio.com, which just launched uh, today. And in fact, uh, Senator Edwards, who was here earlier today, uh, we were very pleased to have him as one of the first interesting profiles on our new uh, social networking website. All right, thank you, Bill. What I want to do right now is, uh, you guys just saw the front page of the site, and what I did, I just logged in, and I, I pulled up my profile page within the site itself. And uh, l let me back up and just give you a really, run, a really quick rundown on what the, really the purpose of the site is and what we're trying to accomplish here. But what we're trying to do is create the best podcast listening experience possible online. And, you know, me being a, a, a podcaster, I, I really have an interest in trying to aggregate audiences and try to get people engaged in the content. And, and that's what we've really tried to tackle here is, is to create a website that um, has a, a really great listening experience uh, and actually gives you access to uh, your, your playlists, uh, the podcasts that are really special to you and, and that you like to follow every day, and then... It, then also extend that out to the mobile environment on your, you know, on your phone. So that's the big thing. What I would like to do is, is just play a few seconds from my playlist, and it'll kind of give you a sample of, um, of how this works, and I can show you a little bit of the functionality of it here. So is the, it, so is the audio turned off? Okay. All right. So... So anyway, uh, as you can see up on the screen, there's uh, this player that we have on the screen is, is basically an embedded player, which means that you can navigate throughout the site and continue listening to your podcast playlist. Uh, so you can uh, go visit your friend's page, you can uh, subscribe to podcasts, you can um, uh, basically look through you know, your, your list of podcasts and actually comment about podcasts too while you're continuing to listen. Yeah, it's not actually playing, so. Okay. How did Austria perform as president of the okay. EU? So, politics loses its most what you can do here is you, these... Um, graphics on the right here, you can actually just click on those and actually forward through your, your playlist right on the, the screen here and it'll, it'll load and it's basically um, streaming, I mean obviously, so I can actually go and look through, let's say I want to find a podcast, so I, okay, I want to browse through a whole list of podcasts, so let's say I, I really like, um, I want to find out about the news that's going on right now and and add that to my playlist. So I basically click down on the right hand or on the right hand side down there, and it should load here in a second. 
top 100 list. Walmart leads the way as the top retailer of okay. to stores magazine. Okay. So I want to add this podcast here to my my list. So, okay, I'm I'm now subscribed to that and what it's doing is it's refreshing my playlist up there and adding it. And so I can actually go right up here and I can actually start listening to that right away. No doubt millions of Americans celebrating And if I want to actually um, browse and find friends, I just click up here and it loads basically all, all of the people that are actually in the uh, community. And I can go visit their websites. So let me go visit Gord. And... In this case, the fact yeah, and what you'll see is that the page that loads is a slightly different color, and and it has a profile there, and it lists all the podcasts that he's listening to. So what's really interesting about this is what we're taking the philosophy of is is podcast discovery is linked up with your friends list. So so what are your friends listening to as a filter to help you find content that's maybe better because it's gone through a filter of your friend. So. So is there a question? No, okay. okay, we're just out of time. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah, let's um, let's go ahead, Bill, and talk talk about the mobile platform a little bit here. Everybody has a mobile phone, I'm sure. Uh, well, now all of the playlists, the playlist that you've created on your desktop is also available on your mobile phone. And in the next rev of this, not available today, but in a couple of weeks, I think, we'll have a synchronized playlist so that when you create one on the, on the web, that pl same playlist is available to you on the client on your phone. If you delete something, subscribe to something on your phone, shows up on your, on your uh, desktop playlist. Uh, and uh, also, if you start listening to a 20-minute podcast online and you leave your desktop, hop in your car, turn on your phone, you, uh, you resume play of that podcast where you left it off on the desktop. So, so you know, in, uh, I, I just want to make a quick, quick mention. Uh, in Europe and in Asia, Asia in particular, I spent a lot of time in Asia, mobile phones are much more widely distributed than PCs. This is the, this is the popular PC in China, for example. More people have these than PCs. Mobile casting is going to be a huge phenomenon, we think, in China because everybody's got one of these little computers. They have uh, you know, relatively simple access to all these podcasts online. So we see big opportunities to launch the mobile version of this in countries where mobile penetration is far greater than, uh, than PC penetration. But I think the, the, the fundamental idea here is to knit together the phenomenon of social networking, podcasting, and the very, very large mobile market into a seamless, uh, integrated solution so that you can search, discover podcasts, share podcasts with your friends, and synchronize your playlist between mobile and online. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. We run out of time. We have one minute. Thank you very much, Chris. We appreciate it. Very cool.